Well, let's talk about working from home um, when there's a dog around. So, something that we all did um, in 2020 quite a lot, no choice really. And the question I was asked quite a lot was, how's, how's this going to work? Because we're going to be all from home, we're not going to be leaving the house and the dog's going to be there and, and yeah, we can go out and walk him, but you know, it's, it's going to be a disaster. And I thought, no, I don't think it is. And it turned out to be that way because every dog in the country went, this is excellent. <laughs> They're here. They're on that laptopy thing, doing zoomy things, and I'm getting treats all the time. I'm getting love. I'm here 24/7 with them. Happy days. And then it sort of all started to come to an end a little bit, which caused a bit of a problem. But first of all, let's talk about working from home with a dog. If you've got your friend's dog Paddy, you're going to get a lot of work done, are you? Really, because he's just too sweet, aren't you? Oh, look at that. Good boy. <laughs> what I would say is, if you're sat doing a bit of work at a computer, it might be a good time to maybe put him in a different room, give him a chance to chill out without you. Because I think we've got problems looming, potentially, where we leave and the dog's just not got used to it. So separation anxiety, I think we're all aware of it. Um, and the problem is, they just get used to certain things. So they've got used to um, being, for us, being around all the time, and then suddenly we're not. And it's just this massive falling off a cliff effect. While you are working from home, you don't have to be with your dog 24-7. You can have them outside a little bit, put them in the kitchen for a while, let them chill out. So the message is very much, I'm doing my bit, you're doing your bit, young man, and let him do his thing. He wants to wander off over there. Well, that's absolutely fine, isn't it? Maybe he's be in a different room and go to sleep for a while. One thing to think about is this. Dogs, given half a chance, will sleep all night and sleep half the day as well, unlike us. They just get lots more sleep than us, so it's fine. Create the separation in advance, in other words, and don't do the falling off a cliff effect when you all go back to work and suddenly your dog's on their own. Here's another little thing. I see YouTube clips of dogs howling when they've been left alone and people think it's a bit funny. It's like, oh, look at this. You know, or even worse, people teaching their dog to howl. It's like, don't do that. It ain't big and it ain't funny. And the problem is that when we laugh, when we're taking a funny, funny little video, the dog picks up on that. So the dog's doing something that's kind of cute but undesirable. And we're like, oh, look at him. And it's like, no, because he's looking at you thinking, oh, you like it when I, I do this? I'll, I'll do more of that then, you know, because most dogs want to please us. So please don't do that. So working from home, do your thing, do whatever it is that you're doing, but you don't have to have the dog with you all the time. And too much of the dog with you is gonna cause problems when you try and go back to work. So create the separation before it's a proper separation, you know? The best time to start this stuff, probably about a year ago. Second best time, right now. <laughs>